The Bull from the Sea, by Mary Renault continues the story of Theseus, the legendary hero of Greek mythology, as he navigates the challenges of leadership, love, and personal identity. The novel explores Theseus's journey after the events of the first book, portraying him as both a flawed and heroic figure, whose choices define his legacy. Renault's writing delves deeply into the psychological aspects of Theseus's character, examining the impact of power and ambition on his relationships and self-perception. At the heart of the novel is Theseus's return to Athens following his victory over the Minotaur and the complications that arise as he assumes his role as king. Renault captures the tension between the mythic image of Theseus as a great hero and the man who struggles with the weight of leadership. His decision to leave Ariadne, a central event from the earlier story, casts a shadow over him, emphasizing his tendency to act on instinct, often without fully grasping the long-term consequences. This flaw, one of many explored throughout the book, makes Theseus more relatable as a character, as Renault humanizes him beyond the traditional heroic archetype. Theseus's relationship with the Amazon queen, Hippolyta, represents one of the pivotal moments in the novel. Their connection is passionate and intense, but it is also short-lived, underscoring the fleeting nature of happiness in Theseus's life. Hippolyta's death in battle leaves Theseus emotionally shattered, marking the beginning of his downward spiral. This loss is a crucial turning point for his character, signaling the moment when he begins to lose control over both his personal life and his kingship. Renault's portrayal of their relationship is both tender and tragic, highlighting the tension between Theseus's desire for companionship and the violent, unpredictable world in which he lives. Renault also emphasizes the importance of fate in Theseus's life. His decisions often appear to be driven by forces beyond his control, and despite his many successes, he remains a tragic figure destined for failure. The prophecy surrounding his son, Hippolytus, haunts Theseus throughout the novel. This theme of inescapable fate is deeply rooted in Greek tragedy, and Renault uses it effectively to build tension as Theseus's story unfolds. His growing alienation from his son, driven by his jealousy and pride, adds another layer of complexity to his character. The eventual death of Hippolytus is a devastating moment, not only for Theseus as a father but also for the reader, who has witnessed the gradual disintegration of their relationship. Renault's skillful blending of historical detail with mythological elements gives the novel a rich, immersive quality. Her descriptions of ancient Greece, its customs, and its political landscape are vivid, bringing the world of Theseus to life. She does not shy away from the brutal realities of the time, portraying war, sacrifice, and the struggles of kingship in stark terms. This realism grounds the novel, balancing the fantastical aspects of Theseus's myth with a more human-centered perspective. The author's ability to weave together the mythic and the real is one of the novel's greatest strengths, making it feel both timeless and deeply rooted in its historical context. The novel's conclusion is both inevitable and tragic. Theseus, once a great hero, is ultimately undone by his own hubris and the forces of fate. Renault's portrayal of his final years, filled with regret and isolation, is a poignant commentary on the nature of power and the human condition. Despite his many accomplishments, Theseus is left alone, a victim of his own choices and the destiny he could not escape. The Bull from the Sea is not just a story of a hero's fall, but a reflection on the costs of greatness and the fragility of human life. Renault's nuanced exploration of Theseus's character, combined with her evocative prose, makes this novel a compelling and thought-provoking continuation of the Theseus myth.